let's get started by activating our core. Starting on all fours, hands underneath our shoulders. All we're gonna do is let our guts out. And as we inhale, we're drawing our navel to our spine and literally drawing our guts in. We're gonna hold it for three, two, one, and we're releasing. Let your guts out and draw your guts in. This is great to do with a mirror at your side so you can really ensure that all you're doing is dropping and drawing it in. So we're not moving the spine in any way. Our spine stays in neutral position. Holding for three, two, one, and release. Drawing it in for three, two, one, and release. Simple as this exercise seems. It is really hard to master. Really make sure drawing that navel towards the spine and release. Shifting our weight onto our left side, and we're lifting the knee and the ankle together to the right side. Hold and back and hold and back. This is called the dog peeing in the park. I call it the Rocky, because that's my dog's name. <laughs> lifting up, down, up, down, five, Four, a little bit faster, three, two, and one. This time we're gonna go arabesque to the back, down, and then the knee and the ankle to the side again. Now this arabesque isn't about how high it is, but how much your glute is really, really activating and firing up. And to the side, arabesque to the side. A few more, arabesque. We feel that right glute firing up. Mark is ready, last one. And holding an arabesque here, bring the arms slightly in front of us. And all we're gonna do is drop that back heel, touch it on the ground, lift it up. I'm gonna do a push up. Down, up, push up. Down, push up. Nice job guys, really good. I know push ups aren't the most fun. <laughs> Think of pushing the floor away. Good, last one. And relax. Good, come back into all fours. We're gonna go back to core activation. Release that core. Release your guts and drawing it in. You can have your hands also with your, with your fists as well. If your wrists are a little bit tired. And release. And drawing it in. And on the breath out, release and drawing it in. I strongly believe this core activation is one of the best exercises everybody can be doing every single day. Hold and release. 20 more seconds, guys. Drawing that navel to the spine, pulling out the shoulders, and release. And draw in. Last time, we're gonna hold it for four. Three, tighter, two, tighter, one, shifting our weight to our right side and knee and ankle comes to the side. Left and up and up and up. up. Nice work guys. Activating that left glute now. And up and up. Let's do eight, a bit faster. Seven, six, five, four. Three, two, one. We're gonna go out to arabesque. Back to center and rocky. Arabesque. Getting a little hold each time, so muscles under tension, we're getting an arabesque. Down and rocky. Arabesque. Down, rocky. Feel your core, because we've activated the core already. Make sure we're not dropping that core. It stays really, really strong. And arabesque, last one and Rocky staying in arabesque and drawing the hands, crawling the hands slightly forward and dropping the heel down, back up, push up, down, back up, push up, down, push up. <laughs> Nearly there guys, only a few of these. Oh, I need to do more upper body strength training. Down and two more. Pushing the floor away, core is engaged, glute is engaged, and, and relax, nice job guys. Give your wrists a little bit of a stretch out. 
Now we're gonna go into a, a bit more core work, so I hope your core is ready. Big breath in, big breath out. And coming onto all fours again, pushing out of the shoulders, hovering above the ground, and all we're gonna do is tap opposing knee to hand. Oh, this is a tough one. Tap and tap and tap. If you want an easier version, you can also just lift your feet off the ground, but trying to keep the body as still as possible. We're doing three, two, one, and swiveling really quickly onto our backs for some swan pulses. Feet slightly turned out, head coming up. We're gonna breathe out to the side, and as our arms come down, our legs lower. Three of these. Drawing back up. Breathe in. Really low back up. Last time and breathe in. All the way back up. We're going to go straight into a really hard V up. You can either come into a half a V up like this, or you can also come into a tondu or a tondu twist. Let's go. I'm going to do these. Only a few. Ten more seconds. There, three. All the way to the end, two. And one. And coming all the way back onto our fours again. Ooh, I told you I'd kill your core today as well. Hovering above the ground again. And let's go. Knee taps. Ooh, nice, slow and controlled. Now you know which three core exercises we have. We're gonna go straight from this one onto our backs. And then really push through the V-ups. Good guys. Two, all the way onto our backs. One, and switch onto our backs. Feet slightly turned out, and breathing in. Drawing back. Back up last time, guys. Spine pressing down on the ground, all the way back up. And be up, so you guys ready? Three, two, one, and up. Again, you can do the tondu version, you can do this version. Good, guys. Ten more seconds. Nearly there. Let's do four, three, two, last one. Last big push and relax. Oh, good guys, have a bit of a break. Big breath in. Big breath out. Good, coming up. Oh, I'm exhausted already. Have your front leg in a 90 degree angle and all we're gonna do is little glute lifts in this position here. You really want to feel that glute activating. Our hand, right hand is on our ankle and our knee, hinging from the, from the hips just slightly. And all we're gonna to try to do is just lift that back knee up just a little bit and place it back down. <sighs> Lifting it up, chest is still staying open, so we're not going like this to get the leg up. That's the tricky part. You can have your arms in first if you like. Oh, this one's a tough one. Guys, yeah, a few more seconds, you're really gonna feel it in that glute there. Think you are standing, think you're doing an attitude hold. Even if your back leg doesn't come off the ground, that's okay. Even if you just think of lifting it up, you're gonna feel that glute really fire up. Last one, holding it for three, two, one. Place it down, good, and open up those hips onto the other side. Big breath in. Big breath out, and let's go. Lifting up and down and up. It's hard to keep the chest up as well, but we really want to think that we're standing. All this work is for ballet. It's to give us that beautiful ballerina body so we don't want to be hunched over, tensing. All that strength is here. Nice job, guys. Nearly there. Lifting up and down. And up, and a few more. Let's do two more. And down, last one, we're gonna hold it for three, two. 
What? Put it back down. Good guys. Coming all the way onto our stomach. Let's just release that back up. Hands facing forward next to our ears. And all we're doing is pressing up. Big breath in. Push the shoulders away from the ears. The head comes up. And as we breathe out, we bring the hands just a little bit towards the back and breathe in, pushing up. And back down. A little bit further back again. Breathe in. And breathe out. Elbows going to the back. 20 more seconds, guys. Breathe in. And breathe out. And breathe in. Last one. We're going to hold this here for four. Three, two, one. Coming onto our stomach. Our left arm just rests by our left side. And our right arm comes up into fifth. And we're bringing it around to our side. Back to fifth. And down. Lifting up. Again, not about how high that back's going. Just about lifting and hovering off the ground the whole time. And down. Lifting up. Lifting up. And lifting up. Good, guys. One more time. Lifting up. Other side. Left arm comes up. And down. Lifting up. And down. Good, guys. Let's do six more. And down. A little break after this. Five. My glutes are tight as well. Nice and engaged. Down and three. Chest is coming up. Scapula back. Last one and up. Down and pushing back onto the heels. Get a good back stretch. Rest here for a few seconds. Coming back onto our stomach. And all we're going to do is lift our hands in fifth and both of our legs together. And lower. And up. And lower. Nice job, guys. Up. Nice and controlled. One more. Up. And lower. This time the arms are going to come back. And lower. And back. And lower. Thinking of lifting that chest up. We're not thinking of jolting the back up. This is all beautiful and controlled, guys. A swan would not be jolting up. <laughs> and let's do four. Three, two, and one. Good, guys. This time the heels are coming together, squeezing into first. So you've got something in between your bum cheeks, so your glutes are really active. And the arms are coming all the way back. And back. Okay, guys. Four more. Three. A little rest after this. Two. One, nice job guys, and we're pushing back onto our heels again. This time staying here, and we're going to just reach, twist that spine underneath, and back to center, and twist the other side. Back to center, one more time, and twist. Go guys, how is our back feeling? Back to center, go guys, crawl forward. All right, guys, standing up, we're going to start with one of my favorite hamstring exercises now. I call this the feeding bird. Now, our hamstrings come into play a lot when we're doing arabesque. So even though we're going in this direction, we're warming up our hamstring to go in this direction. <laughs> Let's start on our right leg. Parallel, our weight's shifted into our front toes. And all we're doing is like if we're looking over a cliff. Core is engaged, and we're pulling up with that leg, and we're going over. And back. We're going to do eight on each side. Over, two, and back. Two. See if you can lift that back leg off the ground. This is also fantastic exercise for ponches. Lifting up. And five. And four. Make sure we're not pulling back into that knee. We're going over. And up. Last two. Last one, 
draw back up and onto the other side. How's that hamstring? Good, guys. Shifting your weight into our toes. Core is engaged, the hinging from the hips, going and up and down. Woo, get your balance and up. Six more. Really make sure the weight's shifted into the toes. We're not pulling back in that knee. No injury, knee injuries today, please. Go nice and controlled. Go slow if you need. Three. Two. And one. Pulling up that hamstring. Nice job, guys. Turning the feet slightly out now, really to kill the inner thighs and the hamstrings. We're going to come down, up, and down. Drive up. Knees bending directly over our toes. Bums going down, up, down, engage, and down. Engage. And you can feel that glutes really engaging as we come up. Squeeze the glutes last time. Nice job, guys. Onto our right side. We're going to go into a passe. Passe up. And then attitude hold. Passe up. Attitude hold. Nice job, guys. Get your balance. Passe up. Attitude hold. Passe up. Attitude hold. Good, guys. Passe up. Last time. Hold. Passe and hold onto the other side. My front leg, my supporting leg is only slightly turned out, guys. My knees are bending directly over our toes. I'm feeling it in my hamstring and then my glute. A bit lower, my lower back as well. And go deeper in that supporting side. Let's do three. Two. And one, back onto this side. We're gonna do 12 attitude lifts, really deep in that supporting side. One of the last exercises, guys, deep in that supporting side. And let's go lifting up. 11, 10, nine, go guys. And eight, seven, chest up, five, four, three, two, one. We're going to hold and bend and straighten and bend and straighten and bend and straighten. You can hold on to something if you need and straighten onto the other side. Last exercise, guys. Really deep on that supporting side. And let's go lifting. 12, 11, 10, 9. Deep on the supporting side. Feel that glute. Six, five, four, last three, two, one, and straighten. Last three, last two, last one, hold and release, guys. Oh, how was that? My glutes are on fire. I hope your arabesque is feeling absolutely incredible now. We're going to do a few stretches that are also going to really benefit your arabesque. Let's come onto the floor, onto our left knee. Now we can relax. The workout is over. That was the fun part. Right leg is in front of us. We're going to slightly turn it out, hinging from the hips forward and just crawling all the way down. And we're taking a big breath in and a big breath out going lower. Big breath in. Big breath out. Now, even though you've done the workout, I can assure you doing these stretches is really going to help your arabesque as well. well now we're warm. We can hold them for a little bit longer. Hold them for up to a minute, but definitely not longer. Take your big breath in. And out. Go as deep as you can. Going lower. Three, two, one. And exchanging onto the other side. Slightly turned out. Hinging from the hips and coming all the way forward. Big breath in. And big breath out, go a little lower. I think you're drawing your toes towards you. If you are really advanced, you can hook your right 
um, underneath your foot and come back. I can't do that anymore. <laughs> big breath in, big breath out. One more time, breath in, breath out. Nice job, guys. Bringing that left leg in front of us and we're gonna come up into a ponche. So pressing that heel down into the ground and your right leg is coming all the way up to the ceiling and we're just gonna bend that knee. So getting a beautiful stretch here. Really push back into that ponche. And we're gonna do four breaths in, breath out. Breath in. Breath out. Two more times. Breath out. Breath in. Breath out. Go deep as you can. Exchange the other side. And lifting up. And bend that knee over. Good guys. Big breath in. Breath out. Breath. Two more times, breath in, out, in, out. Good guys, closing both of those legs together. Onto the last stretch now, coming onto our backs, putting our right foot over our left, my favorite glute stretch, just drawing our knee towards our body. Big breath in, and big breath out, draw it closer. Big breath in. Big breath out, draw it closer. Two more times, breath in. Breath out. Breath in. Breath out and release. Other side, last stretch guys. Four times, breath in. Big inhale, big exhale. Two more times. Really breathe in through that nose. Inhale as much as you can. Fill your lungs with air and exhale. Go deeper into the stretch. Last time, breathe in. Breathe out. Thank you so much for joining me on that advanced arabesque workout today. I hope you're feeling absolutely incredible. I'll see you guys at the next Train Like a Ballerina workout.